As we near two full years of the COVID-19 pandemic, new challenges continue to arise for vulnerable groups in Chicago's neighboring counties, leading to significant increases in local shelter use. Shelters like Aurora's Hesed House had already seen increases in interim housing use throughout the pandemic, but Executive Director Joe Jackson attributes the latest increases to the expiration of Illinois' eviction moratorium in early October. Our adult shelters, that population uh, went up by, I think, about 50 to 60 percent over that time. And then our family shelter population more than doubled. Changes made to mitigate the spread of COVID-19, like increased cleaning practices and vaccines available on site, have helped to keep services running. And social distancing strategies have shown benefits even beyond the pandemic. DuPage Pads, based in Wheaton, has switched to a hotel-based setup to help with social distancing. Since the switch, the shelter has seen an 80% decrease in mental health incidents, a 75% decrease in physical health incidents, and a 500% increase in case management utilization. When they are not trying to figure out how to get where they need to sleep the next night, uh, oftentimes in difficult temperatures, um, they can focus on getting closer toward ending their homelessness. DuPage Pads is raising funds to invest in a hotel-based setup long-term. The shelter wants to purchase a 130-room hotel in Downers Grove to transform into its next interim housing center. The cost to purchase and open the hotel is $7.5 million. But after community donations and a $5 million grant from the DuPage County Board, the shelter is just under $1 million away from its goal. Hesed House has seen benefits from social distancing measures as well. It converted a 12,000-square-foot warehouse space into a distance shelter space and is raising funds to convert another 15,000 square feet in the same space for the same purpose. That's kind of the, the next iteration of sheltering in, in general. It's uh, looking at non-congregate elements, uh, so people have more of indiv individualized spaces that are their own, uh, as opposed to a massive open space with bunks and things like that. One beacon of hope through the pandemic has been watching people find new ways to help. Staff, community members, and local groups have adapted to provide food in line with COVID-19 safety guidelines, start fundraisers and drives to help shelters, and donate needed items through the pandemic. Both shelters have had to limit the types of items they accept during the pandemic, so those interested in donating should check the needs list on the DuPage Pads or Hesed House sites. Those items can be especially helpful during these coldest months of the year. Redzik had some extra advice to help people as temperatures drop dangerously low this winter. We encourage people that you take care of your emergency situation first, get inside, and then give us a call. Um, or encourage, if, if, it, if it's you and you're an outside person, encourage that person to go inside and then give Pads a call and let us know where that person is. And Jackson had his own advice he said is true any time of year. Respect the humanity of people experiencing homelessness. I mean, for people just like you and I that are just happening to be experiencing homelessness. Um, and so don't judge, just seek to help. Reporting for Naperville News 17, I'm Casey Flanagan.